Hello you amazing dancers around the world and welcome back to another salsa tutorial this time. 10 salsa patterns every beginner should know. If you are on our channel for the first time or this is your first video that you are watching, I am Marius. I am Elena. And together we are making salsa and bachata videos and not only that. So that you become the greatest dancer that has ever walked on this earth beside us. If you don't know a pattern and we don't have it in our salsa playlist, check it there or there. Pattern numero uno. She, he, I mean me, but like he, she turns, okay? She, he, she turns. SHS, doesn't matter the name, we just call it that. So it's gonna be basic step. She is going to turn one, two, three, five, six, seven. I am going to turn. But let's uh, do it with uh, a change of hands behind the back, like one, two, three, and another turn for the girl. Five, six, seven. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Of course, there are many variations that you can do. For example, she turns, then I turn with the hand keeping it up and then I turn her again. So think about uh, turning her, turning yourself as a leader, turning your partner. Now let's do it from the other position. Uh, one, two, three, five, here we go. One, two, three, change the hand behind. One, two, three, and turn the girl. Pattern number two, hammer lock into left turn for your follower. So, one, two, three, do the hammer lock. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and now a left turn. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and we came back from where we came. So, one, two, three, hammer lock. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Basic, okay? One, two, three. Give the hammer lock signal. One, two, three. Signal. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. <music> Right turn to neck pass for the leader. So, one, two, three, I'm doing a right turn, putting the hand to my neck, okay? Two, three, I do that head roll. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, and five, six, seven. A one, two, three. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, again, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. <music> gonna call this pretzel kick into a double turn when we say pretzel we mean this position okay because the hands are like you know in a pretzel sort of okay basic step one two three five here we go one two three turn the girl into the pretzel kick three and double turn one two three again and then we switch positions one two three here comes the girl Kick, two, three, double turn. One, two, three, 
from this position. Uh, one, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, here comes the girl. I kick to three, I double turn, exit. One, two, three, actually it's one and a half, but we are gonna say double turn. Again, here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, three, five, seven, one. <laughs> Before moving on, we will use this entire screen. Don't forget to subscribe or there or I don't know, just subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Check our premium materials on our site, salchatadojo.com. More premium materials coming soon and check our other tutorials. Let's go back to the patterns. Next pattern, we call it the stop and go. Uh, you might actually find it under also the enchufla doble in like the Cuban style of dancing, especially in the Rueda, but we are not calling it enchufla doble because we are calling enchufla doble something else because for us it makes more sense. And we also have the stop and go move in the jive dance style. And that's why we call it stop and go, and we call something else the enchufla doble. So there might be a little bit of confusion, but this is our way of teaching, let's say more logical. So stop and go, enchufla doble. Basic step one, two, three. I do the stop and go, open break. I stop her on five, okay? I'm on my five, and I go back six, seven, and then we do the enchufla doble, meaning we do two enchuflas, okay? One, two, Three, this was the first enchufla, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three. That was the second enchufla. So, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. From this awesome position, so you can see it better, three, five, open break, one, two, three, do the stop and go back. The first enchufla, I request the hand, I do the second enchufla, five, six, again. Basic step, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. <music> Enchufla, pull the girl, or pull her in, or reel her in, or however you want to call it. It's an enchufla with something for the girl, okay? So, basic step, here we go. We do the enchufla, one, two, three, and then in, I, I let her step outside, but then I pull her towards me, like five, and come here, okay? And she can add that little planeo or like sweep okay uh one more time from this position basic step one two three five six seven one two three five i pull one two three and five six seven the action is pretty much like a kick but because of that pulling effect she can do like a sweep with her right leg okay ladies it's very important to keep your balance on this move, flex your uh, left, left knee a little bit, so you can make this planeo on your own balance. Don't stay on the guy, okay? Cross body lead into hammerlock. Basic step, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, 
five, six, seven, one, two, three. And for example, let's exit with that left turn. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, cross body, two, three, into hammer lock, one, two, three, into an exit, one, two, three. Guys, this is just like a, um, a pasala. Traveling. Traveling or catwalk, okay? But I signal the girl using my right hand to do a hammerlock, meaning we go one, two, I raise my left, I create a window, she knows, how, uh, she understands to pass through here. While I do this, while traveling to her left arm with my right arm, the signal for the hammerlock. So this, that's the three, this is the five, six, seven. And then just the simple exit, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Titanic kick, with an intro, with a trick, but Titanic kick, Titan, Titan kick, Titan kick. Ooh, that sounds nice. Titanic kick, Titan kick. That should work. So, basic step. We're gonna throw the hands. Okay. First, we're gonna start with our right, left, la la, with our left, and with her right. Bam, bam, and change the hands. I have to have my left. Okay, so that I can do, go into that Titanic. Not like this, because this is gonna go into something of a wrap, okay? So, once again, I throw my left, I throw my right, I ask with my right, I ask with my left. So it's left, right, right, left, okay? So one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, Titanic, five, six, seven, and using my left, I'm gonna go like into a hammer lock, okay? Just twist it behind her back, like one, two, three, and five, six, seven, kick, two, three, and that double exit. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, Titanic, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. That was a touch and go. So let's do a Titanic, Titanic kick and touch and go. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, into the kick, one, two, three, and we do the touch and go. Like I hold the right, I release the left, and we exit like this. Check, of course, like the link for our previous uh, video about different types of kick. Okay, we have this one explained with the touch and go. A simple copa into a wrap with a simple exit, like a basic exit. So, one, two, three, Again, I can throw the hands so that I have them exactly for a Titanic. They are the exact same hands for a Copa. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five. I change the hands and I go back to normal. One more time. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six. Basic. One, let's do it from this position. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, copa. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, two, three. with hesitation, we call it with hesitation because we will hesitate and then we are going to throw 
her arm, we're gonna catch it, we gotta do a titanic and a basic exit. So, one, two, three, throw the hands, one, two, three, do the copa with hesitation, one, two, three, five, six, seven, I throw, one, two, I catch, five, six, seven, basic exit, five, six, seven. Let's do it from that position. Uh, one, two, three, let's throw the hands, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, okay, I gently push with my right, not with my left, so it's like doing this, one, two, three, five, six, seven, titanic, two, three, simple exit. was our 10, let's say, basic, random salsa patterns, but simply 10 salsa patterns every beginner should know. They are not in a certain order, just like 10 random, let's say, simpler patterns that you should learn, okay? And they will help you a lot, especially when starting. And even if you are an advanced uh, dancer, you should know them, them because well, you should dance with everybody and you might dance with beginner girls and these are like simple combos you could do and make your life easier. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment, to share the love. And I'm Marius. I'm Elena. And that was our 10 salsa patterns for beginners.